Hello everyone, this is Mark Leibovitz from the Leibovitz VR Newsletters, also reachable through the vrtrader.com URL. This is a Monday morning, May 11th update here on eSignal for our VR indicator. As a reminder, here at uh, vrtrader.com or Leibovitz VR Newsletters, depending how you get into the website, we do offer the VR Silver Report daily, which is our general market commentary. Our platinum, which is also daily and also intraday, as we generate specific recommendations. So this covers the recommendations plus the commentary. We have our VR gold letter, which covers the futures markets, in particular uh, gold, silver, platinum, crude oil, and the like. In fact, we just sent out a report a few moments ago. Our VR forecaster, which is our annual forecast model, which we've been producing since 1987, and our new vice letter, which covers sin stocks from. Uh, gambling, alcohol, and tobacco, all the way down to cannabis. And don't forget about my definitive guide to volume trading, the Trader's Book of Volume, which is also available in Chinese. Here at eSignal, we do offer a free trial to get you started. Uh, the indicator has been proprietary for 35 years, and we released it in the last couple of years for the first time in a format that was easily usable by traders on platforms such as such as eSignal, so I encourage you to give it a shot. It's the uh, basis for much of what I do. It's one of the triggers, and it's an important short-term indicator. We're going to be looking at uh, Whole Foods markets uh, this morning. Whole Foods is a very interesting stock. Um, I'm of the belief that uh, the powers that be shake the stock as a way to accumulate it, and we've seen this pattern before. So let's go over a little bit of history here, and then we'll get into uh, some of the specifics. Um, on the weekly chart, you can see the uh, stock topped out back here on October 28, 2013. And uh, there was a story that growth was slowing in the stores. And uh, they took the stock down, as you know, quite a bit. And uh, negative volume reversal accompanied that. This is a weekly chart. So it basically showed a downtrend and um, finally bottomed here. Let's see. Uh, this was uh, May 5th, 2014. So when it finally uh, came down, it went sideways for a period of time, and uh, there was no question in my mind the stock was going to recover. Why? Well, when you walk into the stores, you can see that uh, you got to stand in line to buy the produce and uh, all the other merchandise, plus not to, not to mention the fact it's a big favorite of mine for many years, but it was just a question of a shakeout in the stock. This is the um, modus operandi for Wall Street now. They take the stocks down big on news stories or rumors of stories or on downgrades and then they take them right back up again so you have to look for the big breaks for the trades and there are many examples of this but we're just going to look at the whole food so this was a winner for us basically once it got down here and it started generating some positive VRs of course this is the weekly chart then I was trading it on the long side and ultimately we had this big move that carried it into the into the high 50 so what's happened again here let's go look at the daily chart um, the stock finally came off the lows this is this basing pattern here when they, uh, you know, they gapped it down. And they gapped it down here uh, back on May 6, 2014. They had this big gap. I knew they were going to fill that gap. Gaps are filled. And then had this big basing pattern. Unfortunately, it did take a few months. But if you bought the stock every time it came down, there's a positive VR. You tend to get a little bit of follow through. So you could play the long side. Finally, there was a couple series of uh, positive VRs here back in October 2014. And those really uh, kicked in as the stock took off to the upside. So um, now we have a situation where the stock gapped up. This was back on November 5th, never filled this uh, gap. And as it went higher and higher, I was looking at the chart saying at some point these guys are going to come back and try to fill this gap. And uh, we had some negative volume patterns, as you can see here. Um, negative VR on March 24th of this year, another negative VR on the... Uh, April 14th time frame. I'm looking at the gap, putting all the pieces together. So I figured they're going to come back and fill it, and sure enough, they have. So now we're looking at another long opportunity. Now the question is, is this something that uh, is going to turn right up or not? And generally, following these big breaks, it sits for a little bit, but you got a gap now back up toward the 46, 47 area. And ideally, uh, we generate some positive VRs in here to give us a stronger sense of a trading buy. But this is setting up again as it did before. And um, we're gonna, I'm going to wait for the positive uh, VR before getting real aggressive. But I did put it back on my recommended list because I feel like it's going to fill this 
gap here. And um, despite all the stories about Whole Foods, it's a fabulous uh, company. A lot of young people involved. It's crowded everywhere you go. And um, you know, from a fundamental point of view, the old uh, Peter Lynch viewpoint, go out there and kick the tires. You can see this is a real company. And uh, these are just shakeouts. So these gaps and negative news, which accompanied this decline, is all part and parcel to a buying opportunity in the stock. So from a trading perspective, uh, you wait for the positive ER to be sure. I like the fact that they took it down here, so I took a little bit of a position here on the long side, and we have it at the VRTrader.com uh, website as a recommendation. So uh, that's sort of my picture on uh, Whole Foods. It's on the list, uh, waiting for a little bit more confirmation before getting aggressive, but uh, just another play which uh, I think is going to repeat itself here with patience. You're going to see a nice little trade here to the upside. So thank you, thanks again for checking in. It's Mark Leibovitz, and uh, we'll get back to you on our next update.